One thing that a lot of people don't know is that after blood donation, the second most transplanted human tissue is actually human bone. This is millions of procedures worldwide, costing billions of dollars, and that's only for the people who can afford them. Right now, the only way to get human bone for these procedures is to cut them out of a human. And what we propose to do is something really different. We propose to take the stem cells that in our own bodies grow our bones in the first place and incubate them in the laboratory in order to make customized bone implants using the power of our own bodies married to that of biotechnology. We make anatomically precise bones out of patient stem cells, so there's a personal fit in terms of the size and in terms of the immunology. It's made out of your own DNA. So it can't get more unique than that. It's personalized medicine. What we do at EpiBone is we actually take two things from the patient. First, we take a CT scan, which is like a three-dimensional x-ray, and we use that to machine an anatomically precise scaffolding material that is kind of like the starting material for growing the bones. We also 3D print a housing for that scaffolding material like this, which is made out of polymer. And we combine cells in this system with the scaffolding and engineer the implant over the course of three weeks. We are biomedical engineers and biologists working together on regenerative medicine. But even though we have this deep focus, uh, we also have a real desire and joy in collaboration with people in very wide fields. Everything from artists to designers and architects. And I think that it really sparks innovation for us as a company to have diverse sets of eyes looking at our data. I really like that we're in a co-working space here in New York City with 15 other companies and we get a chance to interact and it's not always so formal. So I think formal training is great, but it's also great to collaborate and also to play a little bit, have a little bit of fun.